Cell medicine is an institute dedicated to the treatment and research of stem cell therapy. Stem cells are safe and that for us is a priority that we can overemphasize to patients and doctors. We are focusing primarily on multiple sclerosis, autism, spinal cord injuries, and many other autoimmune conditions. I have multiple sclerosis, I've had it for 31 years, and I'm here to have stem cell treatment to try to stop the progression and possibly repair. The, the success rate for stem, adult stem cell therapy it varies depending on the medical condition we're treating, but in general, if you, if you would ask me, I would say that more than 70% of patients improve. I did a lot of investigating on the internet. I checked out Israel, I checked out China, Germany, um, I think even the Dominicans doing it. I wasn't happy with their protocol, what they were doing, and after reading more and more about Costa Rica and reading some of the things that people have written, I thought it sounded like the most logical and the best match for me. We understand these patients that come to our centers are very apprehensive. They have chronic medical conditions, they're sick, and a lot of them have disabilities. So for us, it's a priority to make them feel at home. We give them that extra personal touch and we make sure that the patients are taken care of from day one until they leave, all the way from the transportation, all the way from the personnel that deals with them and the physicians. So that's one point that I really make across to our patients and that's something that for us is key. Uh, we first started seeing some signs of uh, uh, concern when he was around 14 months. Uh, and uh, first they diagnosed him with developmental delayed. Around 18 to uh, 20 months, All Children's Hospital in St. Petersburg, Florida, then uh, diagnosed him with uh, autism. My name is uh, Daniel Fiella. I'm uh, Matthew Fiella's uh, father. And we're here for stem cell treatment for uh, Matthew for his uh, autism. We're doing uh, spinal and also IV uh, injection of uh, stem cell to recover him. I uh, got to uh, meet another family who uh, did, uh, uh, had a successful treatment with their autistic uh, daughter and I got to meet him in person and it's just, I knew it was something we had to do for Matthew. All I can do is give you my experience, what I've done, what they've done for me. I can't say, yes, go down here, this is a cure. This is hope, which I've always said before, is to give you hope that something good can come to you. It, yes, it made me stand. Um, it's made, brought back some other senses in my body that I didn't have. Does that mean it'll happen to you? Can't tell you. Do I hope so? Yes, I do. I was lucky, I was fortunate, but nobody said this is a cure. They said this is what we would like to try to, try to do. Help stop the progression and do some repair. Stem cells are, are safe for patients and uh, there's not been any untoward effect in any of the ones that we've been treating. We have uh, a lot of patients that, you know, the first time after the, the first uh, injections that we do, they say, oh my God, and I thought it was going to be uh, harder. I thought it was, we, uh, was you know, I thought it was uh, going to have a lot of pain. And basically, like I said, the pain is just a small pinch and a little bit of burning sensation on the, on the skin and that should be all pain you know, that they, they, they should feel. Uh, we follow American guidelines of care in the sense of how the hospitals are credited and how our clinics are credited, so we definitely, for us, that's really important. We all here at the hospital and the institute, and, and especially me, uh, I'm very happy doing this. Uh, you can see the results, uh, how the patient for the first time comes, and, you know, sometimes they cannot even walk because they have MS or because they have a spinal cord injury. I'm a commercial pilot and sometimes I made uh, some private uh, flights. That day was a photography flight so we were flying like a bit, a bit low. And uh, well, we have to make a, a, like an emergency landing that result in a very bad crash. Both we we we, we got well we were alive uh, 
from the accident, but uh, I had uh, my spine injury in the T12, L1 and L2 uh, vertebras. My L1 was a result of completely destroyed. T12 and L2 was like uh, broken halves. <clears throat> my first, um, well, the doctor told me that uh, from the accident, my spine was uh, very, very affected because of the accident. I so. want to stop the disease. That's very important to me. But if I get repair, think about what that means to other people that have had it for, I mean, there's a lot of people that are, only had it like 10 years that are here, two years, four years, whatever. But if I've had it 31 and a half years, possibly more, and I repair, that gives people a whole lot more hope than what I had. Well, understandably, this is a new field of medicine, so it's really important to tell patients and doctors alike to educate themselves. There's a lot of information out there that will help patients and doctors understand what adult stem cells do and, more importantly, the safety of them. Would you like to see her stay now? She's been sitting a while, so it might take her. So, but the proof is all in the pudding, right, honey? I did it on Skype at the benefit when they had me on the ball. I was dancing, doing all this good stuff. <laughs> it's okay, honey. See, I could not do this before I came. I don't know how long that film is or how long anything will last, but I can see it. It was a very fast change. I gained the balance. Yeah, well, because of I went to, from Monday to Friday, two hours, so I got a lot of exercise. And, well, everything's going up, you know, my movement, uh, everything, my balance. Right now I can, like, took some things from the car and put it in the, in the floor, or I put my dogs in the car and with any help. I have all the kennels, the, the cages, I, I do it all by myself. I didn't have any pains in the back or nothing. My balance is perfect. Cell medicine is really, I would say, a new, a new field in medicine that is growing exponentially in the past few years and uh, is truly the future of medicine. We have seen it grown in the last five years and it's going to continue growing because the evidence is out there. And the uh, United States is slowly realizing that this therapy is safe and that is working very effectively in the correct settings. So I would say that cell medicine is a new field in medicine and the future in medicine.